Africa. The Biotech is also a volunteer last year. And the electrophysics are like we do use the technology. And they're sophisticated now. We got we 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 the EEG, computer the CEG, and the electrophysiology on other end is expanding to do the evoke potentials. Then the genetic is now playing a role. Genetic is to detect the disease, and some of the known diseases also have a genetic basis. For example, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and the drug treatment also may probably be related to genetics. Because some of the genetic factors play a role in the treatment, for example, in epilepsy, certain drugs act favorably with a genetic, genetic background. That's why it has progressed from clinical neurology to now with sophisticated instrumentation. But whatever it may be, there is nothing equal to a clinical medicine. Clinically examining the patient is 100 percent important, and that can only lead to the investigative procedures. Thank you very much. Society of India, when the Indian Academy of Neurology was born and with a greater success in each and every year, now we have reached the silver jubilee celebration of the Indian Academy of Neurology. And it is befitting that the Citadel of Neurosciences, the Chennai, especially the Madras Institute of Neurology, we can easily call it as the mecca of the Indian Neurology and 65% of the neurologists are trained from this institute. And the first neurologist was from our state, Dr. Krishnamurti Srinivas, who returned to India. This institution really had excellence in every aspect of neurological branches and gave birth to the, I always call it the Sid Gems in the Madras Institute of Neurology, who taught us and the first person of my mentor, Professor Velgor again is here as our basic chairman, and Professor E. Arjunda, Professor A. Jagannath has come up to many of our own people. I'm just going to show you some slides, and uh, these are about highlights of the conference. As we stand now, it's more than 1,800. We have started this day, so we expect about 2,000 people to be attending the conference. This is the highest ever. We are in the numbers. Chennai Yepome has always been in the forefront. Uh, in the meeting, uh, there are always people who come in because the academic content is very good. And Chennai has always been the hot seat of medical education, especially in neurology. Well, we have pre-conference workshops. It actually starts tomorrow. There are three pre-conference workshops. One on the stroke lab, how to do interventions, how to actively do interventions. You we know, are doing it. That is being done at Omandura Government Hospital, multi-speciality hospital, and there are books per day throughout the state. This is a 2011 census and we have grown since then. And if you were to look at our own place, 16 to 19 strokes per day in Chennai alone, about 15 to 16 in Kanjeevaram, 15 per day in Velu, and about 15 to 15 and say, this is a magic number we want. We always say time is brain. Because for a stroke here, so, we, this is what is used world over. So, this is just to tell you how every second counts. Your stroke on the. We can improve birth, uh, delivery, everything. But there are two things that can definitely help prevent epilepsy, significant number. Washing one's hands before food intake. Kaya Udunga Kalivitis 